I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Steve Phelps. He is the president of NASCAR. We also have Jeff Gordon, NASCAR Hall of Famer, four-time cup champion and vice chairman of Hendrix Motorsports. And then finally, we have Chase Elliott, who is the driver of the number nine Napa Chevrolet car. Gentlemen, wonderful to have you here as you are celebrating the 75th anniversary of NASCAR. Exciting milestone. Very exciting. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Great to be here, Judy. <laughs> Thank you. So now, starting with you, Steve, it is the 75th anniversary. You're kicking it off. So now, NASCAR was born on the beaches of Daytona, but it's grown to become the number one form of motorsports in the U.S. as well as a global brand. So tell me, what does this milestone, milestone mean to you? Well, listen, I've only been working in the sport for, for 18 years, but I've been a fan my whole life. Um, grew up with short track racing, went to my first race at five. So I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but it's been a <laughs> long time. Um, so for me to get to this milestone and, and to work at NASCAR and all the great things that we have planned for the 75th anniversary, it's super special. Oh, yeah. So now, Jeff, you're a NASCAR Hall of Famer. Now you're a co-owner and you're an executive with Hendrick Motorsports. So tell me, how have you made this transition? I mean, you've actually seen really both sides of it. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel very fortunate in my perspective on this sport to see it as a driver and, and dream as a kid to, to get to this level and, and, and race in NASCAR. And, um, you know, then I w moved into the broadcasting booth, so I got to see it. Uh, sort of as a fan as well as as a broadcaster and now uh, being a part of, of a team that I helped build over the years and I'm fortunate to be partners with one of the greatest owners ever, if not the, in NASCAR, <laughs> Rick Hendrick. And so, um, you know, I just, I'm so passionate about the sport and I'm so fortunate I still get to be a part of it, work with Steve, uh, you know, on the business side and work with Chase on the competition side. And so uh, I feel like I'm a, I'm a very lucky guy and I'm <laughs> certainly staying very busy. Yes, and Chase, your dad was actually, Billy Elliott, he was the NASCAR Hall of Famer as well. So you've grown up around the sport, yeah. and now you are actually, you know, starting your own legacy. Now you're the face of NASCAR, you're a champion. What, is, what does this mean for you? Yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, look, I, I think much like Jeff said, I'm uh, very fortunate to be a part, of the, a part of the sport. It's offered not only myself, but my entire family a lot of great opportunities over the years. So. Just uh, thankful for that. It's been uh, it's been a fun road. I, I'm looking forward to seeing what the next, you know, 75 years look like. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, this is a, a major milestone for our sport, and and it's exciting to be a part of. There's a lot of change that's gone on over the past two or three years that I think brings a lot of excitement and new opportunities. Um, I anticipate those things to continue to elevate what we have going on to to bigger and and better uh, better heights. So excited to. Excited to see where it goes. All right, so Steve, how are you going to continue to grow the sport and resonate with fans? Well, that's a good question, Judy. I think for us, we've had a, a really good run over the, to Chase's point over the last two or three years where um, our ratings are up, attendance is up. We have a brand new car. The competition on the race track, track last year was arguably the best we've ever had. We had 19 different winners, five first time winners. Uh, Chase led all winners last year and uh, it's just there's a lot of excitement that's going on in the sport. So a little bit more of the same. I would say um, importantly is having our industry come together. Like right now we're working with, with Jeff and a few others to, to figure out what an extension of our charters look like. And, and um, I know it's a little bit inside NASCAR kind of thing, but bringing this sport together and collaborating to grow the sport for the next 25 years is something that we are eager, eager to do. Now, Jeff, do you miss driving, miss being behind the wheel? Uh, only when I see Chase maybe, <laughs> uh, you know, trying to close in on a victory and a great battle in the closing laps. Uh, but, uh, you know, I had a tremendous career and, and achieved a lot. And, and now I get to just sort of, especially this year in 75th uh, anniversary, I get to look back on, on the years that I was able to be a part of it uh, as a driver. And I remember the 50th anniversary, so <laughs> I'm kind of showing my age here. But, you know, I also look at young guys like Chase. You know, in, at Hendrick, we have a young group of drivers, but NASCAR has a lot of youth uh, working within the, the sport, running the sport with Ben Kennedy, uh, you know, part of the France family and where the future uh, lies is, is, is very bright. So I've seen it come a long way in 25 years since I've been a part of it. And it's only, uh, I think, you know, kind of on a, on a really uphill trajectory right now, which is exciting. Oh, yes. So now, Chase, finally. Um, the season kicks off next week. 
So yeah. tell me, how are you preparing and what's it like when you sit behind, you know, sit in that car, behind that steering wheel, you're ready to start your engine, what goes through your mind? Yeah, it's crazy that we're already <laughs> fixing to get back on the road. The, the off seasons and just the years go by so fast, but you know, looking forward to getting another season started. Uh, the clash at the Coliseum was something that we started last year in 2022, taking it back there again this year in 2023. It's a great way to kick off our season. It had originally uh, previously been in Daytona, a nice way to kind of spice up the excitement and, and get some eyeballs on our sport before our biggest weekend of the year, which is the Daytona 500. So uh, just a couple weeks later. So it's an exciting time, uh, a time that I think everybody in our sport looks forward to each and every year. Oh, yeah. um, but mm -hmm. certainly the beginning of a, a long season and you have to embrace that too. So looking forward to all aspects. The, the winter is more around scheduling and, and business side of racing. And then when we get to the end of January, early February, we're starting to hone in on the competition side, which is I think what we all as drivers enjoy the most and uh, ready to get, get back after it and challenge yourself in, in new ways. All right, well, I'll be rooting for you. I'll be Thank watching, you. tuning in. I'm a fan. Very wonderful to have you here today. Congratulations on this amazing milestone and anniversary. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much.